Yo. Dark Lord. Dark Lord. Dark Code. It's a dark world. World is getting dark, y'all. About to go, uh. About to go ahead and give you this message. Word of power. Word of power and the word of support. So we started out a little bit more prepared, but nonetheless, oh. there we go. So we finna break down the word support and what this shit means. You got the S. Hold on, let me actually do this because I, I believe I can do it. How would you be able to see it? See it like that better? Support? What? It, it, look, nonetheless, motherfucker, we breaking down the word support. And, um, we breaking down this word support because it's very important that you get this because we not looking for support. That's the thing. You don't want nobody to support you. That is one of the, that is one of the most um, that is a, a serious word to stay away from. You got to stay, you seriously have to stay away from that word, yo. You seriously have to stay away from that word. If a motherfucker be like, yeah, I want to support you and this and that, just, just activate your calling and dance around that situation. Be like, you know what? You know, um, you know, I really appreciate your consideration. You know, um, I really appreciate um, uh, uh, be like, just tell them straight up, you know what, you know, um, instead of supporting me, how about you assist me? You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's just how I do it. Because support, what it does is the S, the S is very powerful. Now in Chaldean, in Chaldean numerology, the S had a lot of significance dealing with like, you know, um, dealing with, um, dealing with, you know, um, swiftness, sex, seduction, stuff like that. Now, in Ukili science and in Ukili numerology or uh, Phi numerology and Phi numerology in Ukili science, the S deals with the snake. The S deals with the snake. The snake is very, um, very wise. The snake is very wise, very clever, very witty, um, can be deceptive. Um, 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 the snake is very, you know, um, knowledgeable. The snake is very demanding. The snake is very influential. Whenever you use the S in the conversation, dealing with five numer, uh, dealing with five numerology, S will be the equivalent of the letter nine. S will be the letter nine. No, it, S will be the number eight. In five numerology, S will be the number eight. But, um, um, and in and, and Yukili science, S equates to the snake. And it also means this is also S too. This is decidual S. Which in nigga. When you when you look at the S, this would be the S right here. It's like a snake striking. You know what I'm saying? It's like a snake striking. So when the abstract of things, S has a lot of. It's very powerful. It's, it's a it's a very powerful uh, letter, in in whatever numerology you're using. Chaldean numerology. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking um, uh uh five numerology. Whether you're using more science or Yukili science or whatever motherfucking science you putting down. You know what I'm saying? Um, the S is very important. And this is something that you have to be very mindful of. Now. The thing about the S is that, you know, um, you got to be mindful of the things that come after the S or how they group the S in the, in, in the word, how they, how the, how the S is grouped inside of a word. You see what I'm saying? And so, um, the S is very important. Now support, the reason why this is a dangerous word and a harmful word and the word that you seriously have to stay away from is because they're trying to, 
get rid of your power. Your power is the S and the U. They're trying to port your S and your U out of your sphere of reality. Support. S-U port. Like port out. Yeah, I would like to support you. Nah, don't support me. You know what I'm saying? That, But you can look at it two ways. But the thing is, is the, the way they use it, the way they use the S is, I mean, the way they use support is that they, they want to take your, your S and your U and port it out. You see what I'm saying? That's the way they use it. But you can flip it around in your mind and say, yo, you know, all things work together good to those who love God, to those who's called according to God's purpose. Romans 8, 28 in the Bible, right? Motherfucker, what 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 the what the what the enemy means intends to harm you will actually, you know what I'm saying, help you. You see what I'm saying? That that shit will help you. So you can look at it in your mind and optimistically say, supporting me will be bringing my ass and you back into my port. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that their intentions is their intentions, and I told you that the intentions behind energy is what gives you the power of God. So whenever you come into terms and agreements and, and contract conversations is contracts. So you got to be mindful of the contracts that you come in, in contact with. And for lack of knowledge, God's people are perishing. That's why I'm a firm believer here at the University of Cosmic Mysteries in Dark that everyone has a right to see and everyone has a right to know. Motherfucker, even up the playing field and then we can motherfucking talk about some shit. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about war now, even up the motherfucking playing field. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, um, um, evening up the playing field so that motherfuckers can see clearly what's going on. Now, when they use the word support, what they're trying to do the s is your snake and that's very key the snake is very powerful i don't give a fuck what numerology or what alphabet you're using the snake has a lot of rele relevance now in ukili science and in phi numerology the snake i mean the s is the snake but the the, the s is also god speed it's also a sigil that means god speed and i can give you that sigil too but you know um so the s look like a, it the s almost looks like an eight when you're dealing with Ukili science, this is what the S looks like. When you're dealing with Ukili science, this this is what the S looks like. It looks like an S, like a snake striking, like a cobra getting ready to strike. This is this is this is this is. And then also, when you see people go like this, that's the S. That's the S. So when people go like this, that's the S. That's the S right there. Or when you see people like this. They're letting you know that they're serpentine people. They look handicapped, but really they're serpentine people. You know what I'm saying? They look handicapped. Have you ever seen somebody was like this? That the motherfuckers ain't from this planet. Them is mystical beings. And they look like that for a reason. You know what I'm saying? That's the S right there. Now, the U and the support, S-U-P-O-R-T. That the U is the cup. What are you doing? It's a cup. It's like, you know, whenever you see Shiva... Shiva goes like this and he goes like this. He has the triton. He has the triton. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, stick. That's his. That's his thing. And he has the. And he goes like this. You will always see Shiva like not always, but you will see Shiva like this, because this represents a number of di different things. But it's like a cup. It, it is your magnet. It's your magnet, of course. But but you're pulling something down. It's your magnet, and you're pulling something down from the cosmos up there. You see what I'm saying? So not only is it your cup, it's also your magnet. This is your magnetism. You know what I'm saying? This is your magnetism. This is this is this is your ability to attract that it, that which you desire to attract. You see what I'm saying? That's what this is. This is your magnet. This is your cup. This is your fulfiller. You know what I'm saying? This is this is your means of getting restoration. This is like your energy power source. It's like your power. You see what I'm saying? It's like your energy power. It's like a battery. This is your charge right here. You know what I'm saying? I need to get charged up. This is your you, your magnet. It's your, it's your magnet, but you just flipped it this way to, to get the energy from the cosmos. You see what I'm saying? So basically what they want to do is when they say support, support, I want to support you. In other words, what they're saying is that they want to take your snake, your serpentine power, that Nagai energy, that Kudalini energy, the Nagai serpent to sit at the base of your spine. They want to take that energy and they want to take your cup, your magnetism, you know what I'm saying, and your ability to attract, and they want to port that out. Other words, they want to they want to they want to port that out to their shit. So they say, yeah, I want to support you. Nah, motherfucker, you can't sue port me, motherfucker. You can't port me nowhere. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't port my energy. You can't port my, my Kudalini energy. You can't port my serpentine. You can't uh, port my snake. You know what I'm saying? You can't port my cup or my magnetism or my magnet to attract. You can't sue port me nothing. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? You can't support me shit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? What you can do is you can get the fuck out of my face with that shit or you can motherfucking die because I don't give a fuck. I'll kill your ass. You know what I'm saying? Period. And, and, and that's real. You see what I'm saying? And so and so when a motherfucker get to kicking this, yeah, I would like to support you shit. See the word of power. See the word of power. Recognize the word of power and to be like, you know what? You know, um, you know what? Um, I like that. I, I like that idea. You know what I'm saying? But instead of supporting me, you know what I'm saying? How about you assist me? You know, I like the word assist better. You know what I'm saying? Or just let motherfuckers know I don't do support. I don't do supports, but I do assisting. If you want to assist me, that's fine. You see what I'm saying? Or you can just dance around it. If they say support, you say assist. Be like, yeah, I like to support you. You know what? I really like uh, assistance. You just you just disregard the shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, if they say, I would like to support, be like, you know what? I, I like to support you. Be like, you know what? I really appreciate assistance. And then you just disregard the support altogether. No matter what. When you see the word support from now on, it's, it's going to register in your mind and you're going to know exactly what they're talking about. Now, the snake, the reason why the S is very important in whatever numerology or whatever alphabet that you're using, the snake is very wise, yo. Even, look, I don't give a fuck what ancient religion or ancient society or ancient culture or ancient civilization you study. The snake has always been the most revered. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the most respect uh, I'm in respected and the most motherfucking um the most motherfucking prestiged of all the uh of all of the, the, the beings that was on that planet. You see what I'm saying? And um in that civilization, the snake. The snake is very important. Now now you were taught in the in the Christian Bible, you may have been taught in the Christian Bible that um that you know the snake is evil because the snake came and deceived Eve and said bite the fruit, right? But I'm going to go ahead and give you some real science on that because they was told to only eat from the tree of life and not partake in a tree of, of, of knowledge of good and evil. Now, the snake that came and told Eve to come bite of this fruit that will give you knowledge of self and make you God, you know what I'm saying, was actually in actuality, the snake was helping her. You know what I'm saying? The snake was actually helping them and saying, open up your eyes. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't the fall of man. That was the fall of the gods. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't the fall of man. That was the fall of, of mind control. You know what I'm saying? And the snake came and said, yo, you ain't got to be controlled by these motherfuckers. The who you think is God ain't even God. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so, you know, the way you've been told about that little story in the Bible, that shit is fake. You know what I'm saying? By the snake coming and saying, bite this fruit, motherfucker. In other words, the snake opened up their eyes and, and let them know, yo, you've been mind controlled. You've been under a matrix. Motherfucker, the snake is having to come back and and, and, and hand you to eat the, the apple again. I'm saying, I'm handing you the apple again. I'm the snake handing you the apple. I'm saying, here, bite this fruit. Eat this fruit. Because, motherfucker, these motherfuckers is duping your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Under this just live and let live shit and uh, kumbaya. Uh, love and all of this old dumb ass shit. Meanwhile, this motherfucker's out here dying. It's, it's spiritual. It's a real spiritual war and all kind of shit. You talking about you want to live your life and create a legacy for your children so you can live in this world and all that. Man, that's dumb shit, man. We, it's, this war is over with. You know what I'm saying? It's getting to the next shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to stay in this world. You don't want to keep coming back to this world. This world is a battleground. The next world is, is going to be full of emeralds and crystals and rubies and shit. This shit ain't nothing down here. This this shit is, this density down here, this shit ain't nothing. You don't want to come back down here. You don't want to put no kids down here in this shit. This is a war. This is a battlefield. This is a slave ground. This is a slave farm. This shit that's going on down here is a slave farm. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you don't want to be on this motherfucking farm. You don't want to be no cattle for no fucking aliens or no motherfucking animals. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so, basically, don't let them don't let them support you. Don't let them port your your S and your U. You know what I'm saying? Your S is important. Yo, your S is your snake. Your Kudalini energy. This shit that sit at the base of your spine. Your your root chakra. Don't let them support your ability. The Kudalini energy 
is your your bit it is your god it is your god the snake is the god you see what i'm saying your snake your snake is what makes you god because that kundalini energy this those serpents those two serpents sit at the root of your spine and once they're activated they begin to move up your spine like this and come out of your first eye which is your pineal gland that's why in egypt or kemet you see you know what I'm saying? The snake coming out the forehead. In Asia, you see the snake coming out the forehead. In India, you see the snake coming out the forehead. And even in, 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 um, in, in Mexico and all of that, you see the snake coming out of the forehead and all of the art, the artwork, the artifacts and shit, right? All of that land belong, belong to uh, Lord Yukili Osai. But the thing is, is that, is that that snake is very important, yo. Even in the Bible, it says be 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 diligent as it. It says it says be gentle. It says, be be gentle as a dove, but wise as a serpent. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta you have to be wise as a serpent. The serpent is always is is always a representation of wisdom. Even when you're dealing with Chinese astrology, you know what I'm saying? Um in and, and, and Chinese astrology is a very unique astrology too, by the way. Because what happened was the Buddha, the Buddha, what he did was he he called for all of the animals in in, in this kingdom, because this ain't nothing but this is David, the David kingdom. I talk about the David Kingdom a lot, and I tell you that you know um, the beings down here were, were animal-like beings. It was just animals. It was snakes. It was, and then it was monkeys, and then it was uh, uh, leopards. And this is just like an animal kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And um, the Buddha, when he came down here, you know, he taught, and he, he came down here to put love and light in this world, and teach morality, and and you know things of that nature, right? But what he did was he petitioned for all of the animal people to come to him. And the first one that showed up was the rat. The rat showed up first. And it was only 12 animals that showed up. And so the 12 animals that showed up were named in the calendar, the Chinese calendar. You know what I'm saying? So then that's when you get the ox, the, the rooster, the uh, the uh, the dragon, the snake, the rat, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so on and so forth. So Chinese astrology is very, very unique. I, I, I definitely want to recommend that you check out that Chinese astrology. Cause the Eastern astrology is 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 dope, yo. That shit is is, is some it's some high power science in that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's some high power science in that shit. Now, um, the thing is, is that the, the snake has always been revered, even in Chinese culture, yo. You see, you see, which is a a a, a very ancient culture that they 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 culture go back hundreds of motherfucking years. You know what I'm saying? They culture go back thousands of years. They preserved a lot of their shit. Like when you talk about culture. Um, this civilization that, that you know as a being America, which is really Lord Yukili Osai land, this civilization has only been here for going on 500 years. This is a relatively new civilization was going on over here. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that you got civilizations, cultures like Chinese, China or, or Asia, period, that preserve their civilization for thousands of years. Motherfucker, they got shit to go back thousands of years. They got customs and shit to go back hundreds and thousands of years and shit. You know what I'm saying? And the snake is always the most revered. You see what I'm saying? That snake is motherfucking very powerful, yo. You need to be mindful of this shit. You need to be mindful. Don't get caught up in the, the superficial old Christianity shit and Oh, the hocus pocus. Take all of the spookism out of this shit and deal with practicality. You know what I'm saying? I'm being practical about this shit. You know what I'm saying? And being very practical about this. You know what I'm saying? The snake is the power, yo. Even the Bible says be gentle as a dove but wise as a serpent. Be gentle as a dove because, you know what I'm saying, the Holy Spirit is, is very gentle. It's, it's subtle. The Holy Spirit is subtle. So you got to be you gotta be like a dove in a sense to where you got to be in tune and intuitive to the spirit you gotta you gotta in tune <clears throat> tune yourself into the spirit and the spirit is so delicate that if you're not if you're not in tune with the spirit the, the spirit is so delicate that it'll just leave if you ain't appreciating spirit spirit will leave your eyes spirit ain't got no time to motherfucking sit there and badger you into common sense spirit ain't got no time into badgering your ass into nothing spirit ain't gonna interfere with free will Spirit is just gonna is gonna show up and say, yo, you know, um, this is what it is. And so you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be like a motherfucking like a dove and 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 and, and be able to and and, and 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 align yourself in with spirit. That's it. Tune yourself in with spirit, align yourself up with spirit, and that's how it is. But be wise as a serpent, motherfucker. In other words, motherfucker, be ready to strike a motherfucker, to be ready to strike a motherfucker down and kill a motherfucker for uh 
for some shit. And and what is a serpent? A serpent is 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 very wise. A serpent, motherfucker, put it like this. A serpent, you can walk past a serpent and a serpent and watch your ass. As long as your ass is going to keep going, you fine. You motherfucking come near that snake or you try to come in, invade their territory or you try to fucking do something, they going to strike your ass. Period. That's how snakes are. They ready to strike. Motherfucker, look, I give your ass a pass provided that you just moving on. But motherfucker, your ass want a motherfucking want some shit, bitch, I strike your ass. That's how snakes think. You got to be wise like a snake, yo. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? Snakes, motherfuckers ain't fuck playing no games. Motherf hey, listen, this is a snake kingdom. Everything you see down here, all of the people, the majority of the people that you see down here are snakes. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know what I'm saying? And then outside of that, you have uh, uh, other kind of animals. But the snakes is the most dominant animal. Motherfucker, why you think that you got people talking about the reptilian, reptilian, reptilians, and all of this, all of this shit? You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? Because this is a snake kingdom. This is a snake kingdom. This whole shit, everyone you see down here, almost most likely is a motherfucking snake. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the, that's just what it is. It, it is what it is, man. It just It is what it is. Are you willing to deal with the motherfucking facts? It is what it is. But that's not the here or there. You know what I'm saying? The snake motherfucker is very wise. And you need to activate your snake and become very wise. You know what I'm saying? Now, the snake deals with sexiness. Whenever you say sexy, that's dealing with the snake, motherfucker. That The snake is the, the S in the sexy. You know what I'm saying? That's the snake. The snake. You know what I'm saying? Um, whenever you talk about seduction, that's the snake. To be able to, to, to put somebody in an enchantment or uh, to allure them into your into your into your into your chambers through through using the art of seduction lustful attraction you know what i'm saying that's an enchantment that's like a spell to be able to 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 see somebody and take them out of their normal state and put them in a trance-like state under seduction do you know motherfucking kings has been killed under seduction kings powerful kings have been seduced and killed you know what i'm saying or did you know that uh the powerful kings have married have been seduced to marry peasants, motherfucker. Even in the Bible, you you see Queen Esther. Queen Esther was a was a was a was a peasant. She was considered a Jew. She was a peasant. She was a Jew. She was considered a peasant in the Bible. But remember, right? She under the art of seduction, she used her serpentine, that snake, that snake like power, that serpentine power, that kundalini energy, that wittiness, the wittiness of a snake, the seduction, the 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 the, the, the all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? That allurement, the, the the sexiness, the wittiness, the cleverness, you know what I'm saying? The intelligence, the wisdom of a snake. She used her serpentine power to seduce the king. Remember the king had gave a decree to kill all of the Jews. Remember that? And in, in, and in the Bible, Queen Esther, I think her uncle was uh, Nehemiah, uh, uh, Nehemiah, Nehemiah or some shit. And her uncle, her uncle came and, and was like, yo... Uh, the queen, the king is looking for a queen because the, the the king had killed his, his 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 wife because she spoke up in the court and embarrassed him or some shit. So he killed her his wife and he was looking for a new wife. So fucking, so he did like this big ass petition and all of the people that was in the motherfucking kingdom had a uh, you know uh, two hundred of the, the finest women had the right to to try to come in and um and and, and and try to you know seduce him or whatever and try to if he liked them he was going. So Queen Esther came in and got in the line with everybody else, and she hid the fact that she was a Jewish woman. They was on the lowest, they was the lowest of the people. They was considered scum. And and, and they was considered the enemy. You see what I'm saying? But using the serpentine power and under the art of seduction, she was able to, to manipulate her way into the kingdom as being one of the, the women that can be chosen, one of the 200 women that can be chosen as being the wife, and using perfumes. Using incense, using using charm, using humor, using compliments, using using um, using wittiness, using you know the stroke stroking his ego. She was able to manipulate him and get into and get inside of his energy field. You know what I'm saying? And manipulate him in a way to where he married her. He picked her over everyone, and then she was able to get the decree off. When a, when a king does, gives a decree, yo, that shit is usually final. It's usually final, but she was able to manipulate the situation, you know what I'm saying, into lifting up the decree and saving her people. And she risked her life doing this shit because she was a Jewish woman. How could a Jew who was the sworn enemy of the king marry the king? 
motherfucker. That's the, the power of the serpentine energy. That's the power of the snake, motherfucker. That's the reason why you can't let nobody support you. You know what I'm saying? Because they trying to take your S, which is your snake, your Kudalini energy, and your serpentine, your wisdom, and your power and your might. Listen, the most powerful is might on the planet Earth, yo, is a serpentine power, yo. That's it. That's the most powerful is might on the planet Earth. That's why you got this motherfucker David Icke talking all of this shit about the Anunnaki and the snake people coming back. That's why you got these motherfuckers talking about the snake people rule the world. You know what I'm saying? The snake people that's coming back is supposed to be you and I. We're the snake people. We're not coming back. We're here. You know what I'm saying? And motherfucker, yeah, we gonna rule the world because we got the power of this Kudalini energy. Motherfucker, we can activate the Kudalini energy. The Kudalini energy is, is, is two serpents that sit at the base of your spine. There's a goddess named Kanye. Kanye who sits above those snakes. And once you, once you get her attention, Kanye will begin to work in your behalf. You see what I'm saying? And then she will give you the power to unlock those two snakes. And when those two snakes rise, they rise up your spine. They rise up one way, then they go down the other way. They rise up one part of your spine, go down the other part of your spine, and then come back up. And as they come back up for that 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 uh the second time, then they come they 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 rest at the 33 vertebrate, and then that's when they begin to to send information to your pineal gland, which is your first eye. After it sends the information, then it comes out of your first eye. It just strikes out of your first eye. You see what I'm saying? That's how this Kudalini energy works. And the Kudalini energy is the same magnitude, the same power that's in the sun, the same magnitude of energy that's in that sun. The very powerful energy of the UV rays of the sun is, is sits at the root of your spine. That is the Kudalini. You can activate your Kudalini energy and become hot as the sun, the same measure as the sun. That's how powerful this Kudalini energy is. You see what I'm saying? This Kudalini energy is, is creating planets. You are being used to create planets and to save planets and universes and 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 um and um omniverses and fucking inner verses and outer verses and all that shit. You're being used to create that because your thoughts are physical. Whether you you see them physically manifest or not, your thoughts are physical. And the thing is, is that you are a human. That means that you are a mental being. You are a mental being. The strength of the source of your power is your mind. That's the source of your power as a human, as a man. The source of your power as man is, is your mind. You, you are a mental being. So your thoughts are actually affecting life on other planets and other verses. The universe, the inner verse, the outer verse, the omniverse. It, it affects it affects life on those planets. And in fact, there's other beings who are in Shabbala and who are uh, who are in these verses who are who are um actually depending on you and your thoughts and that's why they send down they send down uh, uh avatars in in human humanoid human looking motherfuckers to come and, and and usher you into situations that would that would provoke thought and to, to get you thinking other shit so that because your thoughts you thinking other things can save their planet you see what I'm saying can save their planet because it's 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 a when you talk about a galactic war this shit ain't just happening down here it's a galactic war this shit is going on everywhere you know what i'm saying what you seeing down here is a is a is a is a is a is a microscopic effect of what's happening up there which is the macroscopic effect of what's going on this shit down here ain't nothing but what you do down here you know what i'm saying affects what goes on up there it ain't it's the other way around what goes on down here affects what goes on up there. You know what I'm saying? Not what goes on up there affects what goes... Even though what goes on up there affects what goes down down here. But you are the most important. You. What you do down here is the most important in all of the whole fucking universe. What you do down here. You see what I'm saying? It, it's the most important of all of creation. What you do down here. What you do down here affects life in so many different capacities. You see what I'm saying? And so support is a dangerous word. I'm telling you, I'm just warning you, you're forewarned. I'm giving you warning right now. I'm letting you know right now that to, to stay away from that word as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? Because the support is, is, is a dangerous word because what they want to do is they want to take your the, your serpent, your serpentine energy and that and your, your magnetism, your cup, your you is the magnetism. And they want to port that energy elsewhere. They want to port that magnetism 
that wisdom, that strength, that that kundalini energy, that sun, that that um that that manifestation. Listen, the, the the root chakra deals with a number of different things. It deals with it deals with instant manifestation. It deals with stability, grounding. It deals with protection. It deals with all kind of shit. That's what the root chakra deals with. You can instantly manifest things with this kundalini energy. So they're gonna take. They want to take that energy and they want to take your you, which is your ability to attract and your your magnetism, and they want to take that and they want to port that other words. You know, these are different things. These are all of the different things that we need to be pondering on. You know, words like support, words like important. You know what I'm saying? These are different words that we need to be um, that we need to be pondering on. Import. Important. I am P O R port at. This is the different things that we need to be talking about. The 13th son talk about the ant people. He talk about he talk about you know what I'm saying. He talks about the motherfucking the ant aliens. He talks about the ant aliens that's trying to run shit down here and all of that. This is the word important. You got I am. Your I is your son. The M is your thirteen. You know what I'm saying? Um, and your ment mentality. Your 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 you you being a mental being. I am your son again. The same shit. Your your magnetism, and your son. That's what they want. They they want the son. That kundalini energy, and they want your magnetism. So the I represents the son, which is your kundalini energy. All again, the word important. And then at the M is your magnetism, which is your you. Or your 13 power. Your 13 is nothing but the ability to attract. The, because the 13 is just it's just mass matter. It's just it what it's what matters. It's just it's it's your it's it's it is the manifestation. It's whatever you attach your 13 to is it's because you want to uh, manifest that 13. So this is what the 13 is. The 13 is this one line. In space, this one line represents matter, things that matter. This wall is here because I allow it to matter. You see what I'm saying? I give space and room to the idea that this wall is here. That's why this wall is here, because I allow it to matter. You see what I'm saying? So matter is this. If you give room and space to the idea that you got seven arms, motherfucker, you got seven arms. It's going to eventually start mattering to you. If you if you be mindful of, of, the, of the fact that you got seven arms, then eventually that shit is going to matter because you give a room and space to that idea. You see what I'm saying? If you don't give room and space to the, to the to this wall being here, then this shit will no longer matter. This is here because you want it. I want it to be here. If I want it to be here, this shit can, I can just say this wall don't exist. And I can just say that every day until this wall no longer exists. You see what I'm saying? I can say that that desk don't exist and say that every day until that desk no longer exists. Now, when you're dealing with numerology or alphabets or when you're just dealing with Ukili science, period, you know what I'm saying? When the, this one right here represents matter. What matters? Tangible shit that matters. Tangible matter. This this is this matter. And then the the 13 is nothing but the B. It's this is what it is. It's it's again that Kudalini energy. This is your sun. It's your magnetism. It's your these are your magnets. This is your you. This is what the three is. The three is nothing but this magnet and this magnet connected. Makes a sun. You see that? That's the sun. That's what the three is. That's what this is. This ain't nothing but two magnets. It's just this and this. That's all that is. This and you put these two magnets together. When, when, when the two magnets together come, then all of the sun energy is just there. All of the energy of the sun is there. Nigga! All of the energy of the sun is there. You see what I'm saying? And so that's 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 what this 13 is. That's what the 13 is. And so basically, the 13 is when you begin to, to instantly manifest, you use your 13 because you want to, whatever it is that you desire to bring into this world or manifest and you want it to materialize into mass matter, you use your, your, your magnetism or your kundalini energy to make, to create the matter. To create the matter, you use your your kundalini energy or your magnetism to create the matter. You see what I'm saying? So that's the power and the significance or the relevance of the letter 13. And 13 is nothing but in numerology to be.
the beat. You see what I'm saying? Now, there was um, when you when you talk about the new worlds. Now, like I tell you all the time, the world is over. Uh, the world as you knew it is over. That's why I say old world, new world shit. Because on December twenty first, two thousand and thirteen, I mean December twenty first, two thousand and twelve. The world was over. This is a new world. We're in a new world now. You know what I'm saying? Um, the world ended. The world as you knew it then ended. So all of this shit now is nothing. It's new. They got all this shit now is new. Is it's all new. And the thing is, is that um, it's very important for you to, you know, to to be mindful of that shit. Everything you see now is is completely new. None none of this shit. You know what I'm saying that you see it now. It's different. All of this shit now that you're seeing is new. Just like when Columbus came, you know, so-called came over here. He said, oh, we discovered the new worlds, the new worlds. It was new because their paradigm was over. You see what I'm saying? And they had already got the omen that their paradigm was over. So they came over here, which was the new worlds to them. This, this was a whole new civilization to them. They were still thinking that the world was flat type of shit. Just like you still think that the world is round type of shit. When I'm telling you that the world is not flat or round. The world is a tetrahedron shape. It's a, it's a, it's a star. It's this is this the world is a star. The world, Earth, Earth, Gaia, Earth is a star. See that tetrahedron star? See that tetrahedron star? That's what the Earth is. The Earth is nothing but a galactic mothership. That's the tetrahedron star. See the tetrahedron star? That's all that the Earth is. The Earth is a is a is a is a tetrahedron shape. You see the Merkaba activation. You see the tetrahedron star right here. That's all that the Earth is. The Earth is a tetrahedron star. The Earth is a tetrahedron star. That's the Kudalini energy. That's the snake sitting on the thirty-three vertebrae right there. The serpentine. That's the Kudalini energy rising. You know what I'm saying? The earth is nothing but a tetrahedron star. That's what it is. It's this tetrahedron star. You know what I'm saying? And don't let nobody tell you that this motherfucking earth is round. This earth is not round, yo. Everything in nature is not round. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with sacred geometry, the earth is a tetrahedron star. This is what the planet earth looks like. The earth is not round. The earth is not flat. It's a tetrahedron star. It is what it is. This the Kudalini energy right here. It sit at the root of your spine. And those two snakes spiral up. You see that? That's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? The earth is not round. The earth is a tetrahedron star. The earth is a tetrahedron star. Which is nothing but you. You are supposed to be the earth too. And you are. You have a Merkaba. Which is a tetrahedron star. You know what I'm saying? You are actually a spaceship. The Merkaba. The tetrahedron star. See that? You know what I'm saying? See the Kudalini? The tetrahedron star. So, and 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 even when, even when you deal with, even when you deal with real science, the Earth. They tell you that the Earth. They tell you. Hold on, I'm gonna get something for you. Look at this. This is the Earth right here. It's a tetrahedron star. Now, it's, it tells you all of the, 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 the ports and the energies, the, the energy vortexes on the Earth. Um, the uh, Ma uh, Maria, Marina, the um, Mariana Islands. 
by Agrihan Volcano Island 19.9 look just look at this pause this for a minute and take a look at this right here the earth ain't nothing but a tetrahedron star yo the earth is a galactic mothership so all of that the earth is flat shit that's bullshit the earth is not flat the earth is not round the earth is a tetrahedron star you know what i'm saying it, it it just it is what it is motherfucker you you can't argue science you can't argue shit this facts you know what i'm saying motherfucker if you are a tetrahedron star motherfucker what makes you think the earth ain't a tetrahedron star you know what i'm saying all that other shit don't let nobody make you believe some shit that ain't real it's make believe that's fake shit they they trying to throw you off with the earth is round and the earth is flat shit that's that shit is make believe but you got the word important, which is nothing but the I and the M, the sun, and your magnetism all over again. Port. At. Important. I am port at. Important. These are all things that we need to ponder on. Because we need to break free from this motherfucking animal farm down here. You know what I'm saying? These are all of the things that we need to ponder on. It's, it, it's all relevant. Believe it or not, all of this shit is relevant. You see what I'm saying? The English language is full of curses and spells. Even when you was motherfucking going to school and they asked you, could you spell the word happy? And you said H-A-P-P-Y. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, all of that shit, you was, you was spelling. You was actually spelling. Each one of these motherfucking, each alphabet is a sigil. And each sigil equates to information and energy. And energy and information is power. You see what I'm saying? And, and the right energy and information is freedom. So, so the whole thing is that, motherfucker, all of the shit that we need to ponder on. Now, this is something that you might want to have to ponder on. When, when, when they came over here, when Columbus came over here, he said, oh, we found the new worlds. They didn't come over here. Um, and so originally they had 13 colonies or 13 common commonwealths. It was 13 presidents, 13 colonies, right? The 13th letter in the, in the English alphabet is M, 13. M is the 13th letter in the alphabet. They call themselves Masons. You know what I'm saying? They call themselves travelers. They travel through the universe. Masons are travelers. They travel through the universe finding where a, 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 an environment or a happenstance where they can, where they can, where they feel that they can just take over and raid it, raid and, and pillage and, you know what I'm saying? And just take all of the jewels. And that's it. And just and use up the land. And after they use up the land, they move into the next shit. So that's what they did when they came over here. And, and the thing was, was that, you know what I'm saying? And then the, and another thing is that we thinking that these motherfuckers was humans that did this shit. And they weren't even humans that did this shit, yo. You, you blaming a lot of shit on the white man. And the white man wasn't even responsible for doing that shit, motherfucker. Don't you know that these motherfuckers is clever with lying? It wasn't a white man that was doing all of that shit, man. It was it was these aliens that was doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? And um and and that's some of the shit that I'm gonna start busting up because you know you look down here on this earth, man, and this earth looks real small. Then you look up and that shit look real big. And you know what? This shit is real small down here, and that shit is real big up there. But that shit is real small down up there too. You know what I'm saying? And this shit is real big down here too. You know what I'm saying? It's just all things that you need to ponder on. But um, it was 13 colonies, like an ant colony, 13 colonies, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, 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 fucking, um, these motherfuckers was running around like little ants and shit, you know what I'm saying? Doing this and doing that. It was the ant-like insect motherfucking aliens that was coming down here doing this shit. Even like when you go into the store, the 13th son and Bobby Hemi told me, both my, t both my uh, elders, they both said, they said, yo, going into the store is at your own risk. That shit is dangerous. Because it's like you're entering into a trance. It says entrance. Enter into a trance. Motherfucker, you go into the store. It's cold, cold air. As soon as you go into the store, it's cold. Why is it cold? Because the cold air is science to all of that shit. The cold air does something to the circulation of your blood. And it lowers your heart rate. And you automatically start getting tired. You automatically start getting sleepy. Why do they want you to get tired or why do they want you to get sleepy? Because they want you, they want to take you off of your better brainwaves. See, your better brainwaves is your ability 
your better brainwaves are, are, are when, whenever you're using your better brainwaves, you're dealing with critical thinking, um, problem solving, logic, reason, all of that. Like right now, they would say I'm using my better brainwaves, even though I'm on a different brainwave than the better. So that's what the better brainwaves are. And then say, for instance, you were to like relax a little bit or, you know, um, calm down a little bit or whatever. And you're not using your mind so much. So you're not like engaging in um, conversation or dealing with things to deal with critical thinking or whatever. Then and you start to relax, then you will begin to use another part of your brain, which is called which is called the alpha, the alpha brainwave. And that, then the alpha brain wave, it deals with like you're more relaxed. And then if you lax more, then you start using your lower brain waves. And that's where the MK Ultra Mind Control programming takes place at. A lot of suggestions in MK Ultra Mind Control programming happens at the at the alpha, lower alpha brain wave state. And then if you was to go into a sleep, if you was to go into like a daydream, you would be in using your theta brain waves. And if you was to go into a sleep, you would be using your delta, delta brain waves. You see what I'm saying? And if you meditate, if you meditate hard, like a lot of Tibetan monks have, they use the gamma brain wave. That's meditation. That's called gamma brain waves. When you're meditating or that, that space that you're in, that trance-like space that you're in, when you're meditating, creating, visualization, manifestation, all that is gamma brain waves. And that's a high brain wave. I use something called the five brain wave, which is a new brain wave that I've developed and that um, and watching my videos, you know, um, for the high melanated beings who watch my videos and actually put this shit to practical use, they will begin to start using their five brain wave as well. And the five brain wave is this is the way brain waves. You have multiple brain waves. It's all kind of brain waves. You got the you got the sensory motor brain wave, which is which is the link between the brain and the and the body. So if, if my consciousness tells my brain to tell my arm to move his arm and it moves his arm, then the link between the actual activity that allows my brain and my body to function is a, is a, is a brain wave called the sensory motor brain wave. That's what allows my, my shit to move his shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, you, my, I have a strong SMR, sensory motor rhythm brain wave. SMR. You see what I'm saying? Those who have a weak SMR are come out with retardations and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. But even the, the people who look retarded, that shit, them be mystical beings down here. That shit don't be real. Them be, them, them be mystical beings down here and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a science on a handicap. I got a whole science on a handicap. You know what I'm saying? The Moors got a science on a handicap. Ukili uh, science got a science on a handicap. And um, the Osai has a science on a, many, uh, 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 on a, uh, on a handicap. And, um, and, um, and, I believe that we have a curriculum at the University of Cosmic Mysteries in Dork that has um, a science on a handicap as well. But the thing is, is that, you know, um, I can't I can't go into that because I don't have to, you know, I'm not going to go in and, and, and I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's just it is what it is. Yo. You're not a part of my I'm giving you secrets already. I'm giving you a lot of shit already. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? But the thing is, is that um um, don't worry about it because you're going to get it all in time. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get it all in time. But the thing is, is that those beings who have a high radiation of who, who radiate uh, a lot of gamma brainwave, those are the ones that, you know, that, that are powerful. Those are the Buddhas and the crisis and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Those are the, those are those are those are the who who operate from the gamma brainwave level. You know what I'm saying? And then there's another brainwave. Uh, called the five brainwave that I navigated. I personally created this brainwave. Now, the way brainwaves are created is by individual building blocks called neurons. And neurons, basically, how 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 it happens is that you know uh, neurons. How how you you know neurons are are uh, individual building blocks of neurons create brainwaves. So basically, what you want to do is you want to you want to stimulate thought. You want to create new brain. You want to create new neurons. And, and allow those neurons to fire effectively. And when a neuron fires, is 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 different from how you know um, electricity fires. How electricity travels on a landline. You know what I'm saying? When a neuron fires in your mind, it, it goes from one end to the other end. Once it, once it releases, that information begins to communicate with the surrounding neurons, and those surrounding neurons begin to. Um, omit out positive eons and negative eons. Now, positive and, and negative eons have to mesh together. 
they have to they have to unite together you know what i'm saying and then if they can't unite together then something else happens they it, a, a mutation happens and, and and because of the something has to compensate and so um so the neuron will begin to fire out something else listen that's that's not in here now. I don't want to get all the way into that science and you be like, oh, yo, this dude is geeky and shit. I want to get back onto this ant shit. So so you had these this ant-like uh, group of beings who came down here, ant-like insects who came down here. And, you know, um, and they, they had a little run on the planet Earth, too. You know what I'm saying? So all of these different words are dealing with certain kind of beings. You have you have prey mantis ins alien kind of like beings. You have ant alien kind of beings you got reptilian alien kind of beings but you know I, I um i'm deciphering the word important because it's important for you to get this shit you know what i'm saying um i am port at so but basically all of these motherfucking aliens i'm telling you we are mental beings down here we are mental beings so 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 we're the most powerful beings in the cosmos if you are human, you are one of the most powerful beings in the whole entire motherfucking cosmos. You was created by 72 different extraterrestrial beings. You know what I'm saying? You was designed by an ultra-terrestrial being. Motherfucking Inky designed your ass. And and, and so all of the all of the ants, all of the, the, the great the grays, the reptilians, the, the small grays, the tall grays. The orange grays, the reptilians, the different sects of reptilians, the ant-like insects, the Anunnaki, the the Palladians. You have all of that shit. You're you're the Stoonies, the um, the Nordics. You're all of those aliens. You're all of those aliens in one. You are a human, a human. Do you hear what I'm saying? You are way powerful than they ask. You know what I'm saying? Because you have all of their DNA inside of you. Don't you know that when we were uh, when when it, when we originally created humans? We designed humans to be so fucking powerful, yo, that when y'all first got created, what happened was you you were too powerful, way too powerful. You you we we designed humans to to mine gold for us. That's what basically what I'm doing right now. I'm I'm mining. I'm mining. I'm pulling out, I'm giving you gold. I'm giving you nuggets that's in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Um the thing is is that you know uh we 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 initially created humans to mine gold. Real physical, tangible gold, though, and um, and to mine gold for the Anunnaki. So you know, it was seventy-two extraterrestrial beings who did some scientific shit, and and you know, and we engineered man. You know what I'm saying? And originally, yo, you got the power, man. We, when man in its original form, you are all of the animals in one. You got the ability to go into the water and live under the water for centuries. And don't ever have to come up for air. Motherfucker, you was in your mother's womb for nine months and didn't have to ever come up for air. You were so fucking powerful. You had the ability to fly, teleport, shapeshift. Don't you know that when you was first created and you're on your higher senses, you had the ability to just travel to whatever motherfucking universe, whatever galaxy on whatever universe, just think a thought and you was there. You still had that ability right now. You know what I'm saying? None of that shit has changed. You just have to reactivate it. You just have to reactivate it. But the thing is, is that the Palladians, they're going to tell you. See, the Palladians are what we call a nursery store system because they're one of the closest store systems to the planet Earth. And when the quarantine happened, when the Anunnaki put the quarantine on the planet Earth and shit, right? Then, you know, um, the reason why the Anunnaki put the, the quarantine on the planet Earth is because the Anunnaki are like a, a serpentine race of beings too. You know what I'm saying? They they are a serpentine race of beings too. And the thing is, is that um with the with the with the uh this being a, a snake planet, this planet is a snake planet. You have multiple planets, but this planet is a snake planet. It is originally for the snake people. It's the is a snake kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And when we came to this planet, we came for gold only. You know what I'm saying? But we decided to mix with our DNA with the snake people. And then we gave birth to all kind of like huge snake-like beings. You know what I'm saying? Um, Nephilim, snake snake giants, um, um, Nagai serpents, 
all that shit, all that shit. This is a snake kingdom, yo. This kingdom right here specifically is for snake people. I don't give a fuck if you want to acknowledge it or not, but you can go all over the world and you will see these statues with the the Buddha. This the Buddha, uh, the Buddha nega. These the wings right here. Who you think is angels? You depicted angels as being like you think. You look at angels as being, you know, um, uh, uh, like. Like, you know, these Cupid-like figures who have wings and they look like humans. No, the real angels are snake-like beings. They're dragons with wings or snakes with wings. This is a, a Nega Buddha. He, is, he has five snake heads, the wings right here, and the snake body. The whole snake, you see the big-ass snake tail? This You can go all over this world and you will find... Nega statues and, and snake, big ass snake like statues and shit all over the world. Big ass snake statues all over the world. This is common knowledge. You can go everywhere, wherever you can go. And you will find big ass snake like king, snake. This is a snake kingdom. This It is what it is. You can look at your arms and see the snake scales. You can see the scales on your arms. You can look at your legs and see the scales on your, on your legs. You have... A huge amount of reptilian inside of you. Everyone has reptilian inside of them. Even the monkeys got reptilian inside of them. Because when the aliens came down to this planet, it was nothing but snakes on the planet. So they said, yo, the snakes must have to be, they must be the most superior on this planet then. You know what I'm saying? So so we we begin to mix our DNA with, with the snakes. You know what I'm saying? And, and humans have a lot of reptilian in them. A lot of reptilian in them. As because especially because the Anunnaki are reptilian too. The Anunnaki are reptilian, and that's why they put the quarantine on the planet Earth is because they want to protect their children. The Anunnaki want to protect their children. You see what I'm saying? And their children is 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 a snake like beings, and that's that's real. It's just it is what it is. Motherfucker, Inky is the king of the snakes. Enlil, they're the king of the snakes. Inky, Enlil, um, Melchizedek, um, 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 um Murdoch, motherfucking um. Uh, 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 Arrestigo, all of them, them, them is all kings of the snakes. Them, 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 them are the, the superior elders of the snake like people down here. You know what I'm saying? The Anunnaki, them is Anunnaki's. Enlil, uh, Melchizedek, Murdoch, uh, 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 Nergo, um, um, Aristigo, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, uh, 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 all of them, them, them is all snake, them, them is, them is all Anunnaki's. You see what I'm saying? Anunnaki aliens who come from Planet X, where you call scientists are calling it Nibiru now. You know what I'm saying? They're calling it Nibiru. NASA is calling it Nibiru now. But the thing is, is that don't get shit twisted. This is a snake kingdom. This it is what it is. It just it is what it is, motherfucker. You just gotta deal with the facts. You see what I'm saying? That's why when they said fake ass history, when they said that uh, World War II, motherfucker, you ain't been to World War II. You didn't know what was really going on over there. World War II wasn't nothing but a scientific study too. They, but basically what World War II was, was that they was going around trying to kill the, the black snakes who were genetically linked to the Anunnaki while at the same time the Palladians was using the, those what you call concentration camps those weren't nothing but laboratories those were scientific laboratories and they were genetically engineering and modifying and, and engineering a race of beings who are now the new jews but those those jews are li linked to the palladians this is we talking about star wars we talking about star wars the the, the palladians want to wage war against other star systems you know what i'm saying and this is the shit that's going on and it's playing out on the planet earth so so so, you know, the way, see, Pilates, they, they're, they're a nursery star system and they want to move further into the cosmos. But in order for them to move further into the cosmos, nigga, nigga, 36, they got to get energy. And the way they get energy is through, and it's fucked up, but they get it through death, through, through prayer, through creating fake ass gods for you to believe in and shit. Uh, you worshiping them. Whenever you give energy outside of your body, that's a form of, of worship. And worship can be evil if you're not navigating that worship correctly. You know what I'm saying? So, so, nigga, 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 36. So the thing is, is that the Palladians engineered, they, they created all of that as a way to wage war against the Anunnaki people, the black people. You know what I'm saying? And, and some white people or Anunnaki people. You know what I'm saying? 
peoples. That's their that's they shit. That's they kids. You know what I'm saying? And so and so and so what the what the Palladians did was they kind of, they channeled Hitler and gave this motherfucker some information. And dude was immature and went around trying to kill motherfuckers. You thinking that this, the Holocaust started in Germany, but in, in actuality, they was already doing a Holocaust shit in Africa. You know what I'm saying? They was already doing a Holocaust shit in Africa, but they wanted to throw you off and didn't want to make it seem like they was going to kill black people on, on, on a global level. So then they took the shit to Germany and they threw you off with the, with the oh, they killing the Germans. But in actuality, what they was doing, they, they was getting rid of a a a a middle race of people. The 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 Germans that you knew then I mean the, the Jews that you knew then were were part it was they was half and half. They was half Anunnaki, half Palladian. And they was like, yo, you ain't finna go all the way with the motherfucking with the side with the Anunnaki. So we just gonna kill off this half this half and half group of people, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and take them and, and and it wasn't really killing them off. In actuality what they was doing was they was they was it was a genetic study. This is all it all all that shit was. It was a big ass laboratory. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing but a scientific laboratory. And what they were doing, the Palladians was engineering a race of beings who were gonna fight for them and, and be and think for them and mind for them. You know what I'm saying? The Jews think for the Palladians. Just we're all we're all mental beings down here, and our thoughts affect life on other planes of existence, higher planes of existence. You see what I'm saying? Our thoughts are very important. You see what I'm saying? And so, um, and so all of this shit, all of these words are, are catering to certain extraterrestrial and ultra terrestrial and celestial beings on different planes of existence outside of this hemisphere. You see what I'm saying? And so it's very important for you to get this information. So important is I am nothing but the sun and your magnetism. The same thing as your, your S and your U. Which is nothing but your sun, the Kundalini energy, your sun, and your you, your magnetism. The I is nothing but your sun, the I, you know what I'm saying? And and the M is nothing but your you, your magnetism. Because the M, the 13th letter in the alphabet is M, is 13. M, 13, magnetism, you know what I'm saying? And, and then I am the sun and your magnetism, port to the X. Important. You see what I'm saying? All of this shit matters. All of this shit matters. Soup. Support is support for who? The Anunnaki's. The 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 Sioux port. Where is that? What what port is that going to? What port is that going to? You know what I'm saying? All of these ports, all of these these ports, this shit means something. Where's these ports going to? Where's this energy going to? In other words. So important the energy is going to the ants. Support the energy is going to the Anunnaki. You know what I'm saying? All of this shit matters. All of this shit is relevant. These are the things that we need to be mindful of. We need to ponder all of these things. Just like evil. Just like evening. Just like good morning. Mourn like you mourning. Like like you you suffering. Morning, motherfucker. Morning. Mourn. I want you to suffer in. Nah, I'm not ushering no, no morning inside of me, motherfucker. I don't say good morning. You know what I'm saying? I don't say none of that shit. So, so you get the word good. Good means means electric ele elect electric ele elect electricity electrolytes and then bad means magnetism so you know it's just a yin and yang to everything so you get the word good and then you get the word bad remember Michael Jackson came out with that song you know I'm bad I'm bad you know it and then and then after that uh uh uh, what's the what's the what's the, what's her name? Rihanna. She got a she dropped the album called Bad. You know what I'm saying? She dropped the album called Bad. All these other motherfuckers dropping albums called Bad. Uh, good girl goes bad and this and that and bad this and bad that. Good means electric electricity or electrolytes. And bad means magnetism. Bad means magnetism, good means electric electricity or electrolytes. Is that good? Is that bad? You know what I'm saying? That shit good means yang energy. Bad means yin energy. You see what I'm saying? It it just it just it it just it is what it is, motherfucker. We can go on for days doing this shit. But 
the thing is, is that these are all of the different things that you have to ponder on. Even evil. Evil. Evening. Good evening. Eve. 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 What, is, what does Eve mean? You know what I'm saying? What does all of this shit mean? These are different things that we got to ponder on. You know what I'm saying? You get the word primordial, premortal, pri, all of that is in evil. Premortal energy, Eve, Eve. These are things that we need to ponder on. We need to ponder on all of this shit. We need to be looking at this shit and investigating this shit and breaking this shit down. You know what I'm saying? And, and motherfucking and and, and, and and remembering what's going on, yo. You know what I'm saying? We need to be, we need to be mindful of the words that we use and selectful. Select be select select. Be selectful. Motherfucker, you gotta select your words correctly. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta choose your words wisely. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go out and motherfucking frivolously motherfucking say shit. I just got this little uh swift sweeper. I'm finna motherfucking put this shit together. So the thing is, is that these are all of the things that we have to ponder and be mindful of. And, and you know what I'm saying? And just and be intelligent about it. We got to be intelligent about it. The thing is, is that the English language is over and they know it. The English language as an overall is over and they know it. They know it. The English language is over and they know it. Ooh, can't do that. These motherfuckers know it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why they talking about making Chinese the business language of the world now. That's why... They already prepared to make the shift. That's why motherfucking California, which is all Lord Yukiti Osiris land, the very first thing that they tell you is on all of the documents they put in Spanish. On all of the documents now. They 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 getting prepared to make the shift because the energy in English is over. All of the energy in English is over. And motherfuckers is deciphering that shit and what the shit means. So that's over with. You know what I'm saying? That's over with. That's over with. And the thing is, is that they they all of the energy is used up from, from this. They burnt up the energy. This vortex is over. This vortex is over. That's why I'm telling you, we're in a new world right now. December 21st, 2012, the motherfucking world ended. When they said the world is going to end, the world did end. That's why they, they, they started making a shift. That's why motherfuckers are starting to teach language now. How how why is language so important? Why is language and grammar and English, you know what I'm saying, so motherfucking important right now? Why are they teaching little ass kids to speak foreign languages now? Because the English language is over. There's no more power in that. The energy vortex is sucked up dry. You see what I'm saying? So you almost gotta create your own language, or you gotta motherfucking go back to a language that works. It, it just, it is what it is. And then they're going to get It is what it is. And, and, and that's, you know, that's, it, it's just, it is what it is. So these are the things that you have to be mindful of. Nigga, 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 they're six. Nigga, nigga, they're six. These are the things that you have to be mindful of. These are the things that, you know, um, that matters. That, that you have to, you have to acknowledge. I told you. I told you a while back to um nigga 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 I told you a while back that you know um that this shit is coming to an end that they whole system is busting up and that they shit is coming to an end I told you a while back that they shit is coming to an end and so these are the different things that you got to be mindful of and you know these are the different things that you got to motherfucking, that you got to just, you got to ponder on all of this shit. Nigga, nigga. These are the different things that you got to ponder on every day. You got to ponder on this shit every day. 
And you gotta, you can't ever stop building. You gotta build every motherfucking day. You know what I'm saying? You gotta build every day. Every day you gotta, you gotta, you gotta investigate shit, yo. When you use words and, and you just find out what that shit means, you just gotta break it down. Just break it down as much as you possibly can. And, and you know, and you good. Just break it down every day as much as you possibly can. You know, learn as much as you possibly can. Nigga. And that's, it is what it is. It just, it is what it is. And that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Cool little duster, huh? Yeah. I did the motherfucking video on how we don't use instructions, on how not to use instructions because they got uh, commands inside the instructions. Just put the shit together. Use your own motherfucking better brainwaves to put shit together. And guess what? This shit didn't come with no instructions. They getting hit. They know what time it is. They know that I don't, they already know. They probably thought, yo, he was probably going to, you know what I'm saying? This shit didn't even come with no instructions. What the fuck? Yeah, this motherfucking video motivated me to finally put that shit together. I had it since last night. I was supposed to put it together, to, you know? Um, But yeah. Nope. Cool little duster and shit. Shit work too. <laughs> See the way I can adjust it to make it smaller. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's how you. That's how you get rid of this stuff. It just you dump it like that. But can I gauge it to make it smaller? Oh yeah. Oh, this shit work good. Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in the game, and it's and it's great. I mean, it's it's burgundy. I got the burgundy on burgundy. You know what I'm saying? I'm on point. So these are all of the different things that you gotta ponder on. These are. These are all important, you know, um, they're all very important and relevant, you know what I'm saying? Got my Statue of Liberty. I did a video called Statue of Liberty. This is really the science of the Statue of Liberty, yo. Motherfucker, sage sticks burning, nigga. Shit, your motherfucking liberty comes from the sage. Because sage gets rid of unwanted energies. And aliens, they gotta flee from this shit. They can't stand the smell of sage. Aliens who are foreign to this planet, they can't stand this, the smell of sage. This is your Statue of Liberty. Your liberty, your freedom comes from this sage right here.
So the thing is, is that it is what it is. It is what it is. These are the di different things that we gotta, that we all gotta ponder on. And and be mindful of. You know what I'm saying? Um, because what they're doing is we're think you can just think a thought. You ain't gotta sit there and just fucking beat yourself in the head trying to think some shit. All your thoughts are physical. Everything you can think, you know, I admit love into the universe all day long, motherfucker, and you affecting change all over. You can think war. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. These are all different thoughts that you need to be thinking of. You are a mental being, motherfucker. Your thoughts are simultaneously affecting shit on other on everywhere. So the thing is, is that the it's a war going on, motherfucker. Hold on. It's a war going on, and the war that's going on is, you know what I'm saying? The war that's going on, yo, is a war of, is the war that's going on is a war of, you know, um, it's money, man. This shit is all about money in the cosmos. You got motherfuckers up there, yo, that's, 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 that's going around raiding other motherfuckers. Shit, raid no motherfucking shit up there, yo. They raid no motherfucking shit up there. You know what I'm saying? They like literally raid no motherfucking shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? They 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 going over there. They they raid no motherfucking shit. Fucking forcing people into slavery. Fucking taking their fucking shit. It's all about money up there, and that shit is playing out down here. It's all about money and taking people shit down here. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta get free, yo. The 13th said, said, you know, um, change your diet before you become somebody's diet. Shit, man, you know, I just got a bag of motherfucking pomegranates right now. Shit, I mean, shit, it, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. And that's what it is. So it's just, you know, you got these ant-like alien motherfuckers down here. And you can look at them. You can see who a motherfucking human and who ain't a human. You can look at their eyes and see if they're a human if, or if they're not a human. And then you can see if they are an animal or if they're a human. All of the type of shit that we need to ponder on. But I just wanted to give you that information right there. You know, um, you are human. You are you are a phenomenal being. You are like, you know, super, super powerful and strong and mighty. And your thoughts are physical, yo. Whether you see them or not, your thoughts are physical. This shit tastes like lemon. Oh, I got my crows speaking to me right now. Have you ever tasted a, a, a pomegranate that tastes like a lemon? Yo, this pomegranate tastes like a lemon, yo. I tell you all the time. Save your uh your love for the next plan of existence. But fuck that, man. If you love somebody, you love them. But love is how you create. Save your love for creation. I love my soul group, yo.
You know what I love doing? I love putting on my camouflage on their ass. I love acting white to get secrets from white people. And I love acting like I don't that I don't like white people to get secrets from black people. <laughs> I just love like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just love like the whole little manipulation shit. Because in the end, yo, the whole racism shit is a is a matrix. It's a big ass fucking matrix. And the thing is, is that I sit back and I just play games. I just, you know, I chill with the white people and they be putting me up on all kind of game about how they don't like black people and shit, which is good because these are the conversations that we need to have because that's the only way that you're going to establish some trust. But the thing is, is that you're not realizing that it has nothing to do with you, with white or black. It has everything to do with the aliens that's controlling you and what they got going on up there. And if we just get our shit together down here, then what they got going on up there will have to change because we change down here. See what I'm saying? So. The whole thing is, is just, it's, it's a unique experience. It's a unique experience because you know, it just, it is what it is. So you have, listen, you you really have aliens down here. <laughs> you really do. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, my teacher, Bobby Hammond, he, he really don't, he talk about, he really don't get caught up in the alien shit. He, he only deal with like, you know, um. He did with Elohim shit. That's it. Did he just tell you that you got? That's it. You know what I'm saying? He tell you that we the aliens that they talk about, that they fear and shit. We the we the aliens and on all that other shit about the the, the great aliens and all that. That's a conspiracy. He he tell he's and what he says is true because this is my this is my my own personal experience with the aliens. The UFO ships and all of that shit that you be seeing, the saucers and all of that, that's those is aliens who are who have ships because they already here in this in this reality. They already down here. See what I'm saying? So those those ships that they the, the round ships are are, are 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 dynamically created to fly in this hemisphere. You see what I'm saying? And they change densities. They're created for this hemisphere. They're not. They're, they're made galactic ships that we fuck with. You know what I'm saying? They're for this hemisphere down here. So that means that 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 these are aliens that are that are that are that are uh, that are that are on Earth. That's been on Earth for a long time, changing densities and been down here fucking with this Earth shit for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And then um and then other ships come into the plane of existence like the Palladians. When they come, they ships don't be round like this. They ships be long. They ships be like like this, like this with lights on them and shit. They ships be like that. When the Anunnaki come, they ships be he hella big. And, and and the thing is, is that when we come, we come like like stars. We come like a star, like a star. Like like I told you, the, yo, yo Merkaba. Yo Merkaba is a, you a spaceship. You know what I'm saying? We come in, in in a Merkaba, in that 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 star t to tetrian shape, like when when if I was to go out at nighttime and motherfucking and fly, I'll be flying. But for beings who are in tune, they see the 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 star to tetrian shape around me. And they'll also see the colors, the, the green, the blue, the yellow, the orange, the indigo, the purple, the, you know what I'm saying? They'll see the colors. That's why, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, this shit is sour.
a lemon pomegranate. This is some real genetic slicing right here, yo. Back on the alien shit. All that shit is government shit. Now, who you talk about the Galactic Federation of Light, the Galactic Federation of Light ain't nothing but the United States of America. The whole United States of America is the Galactic Federation of Light. All, all of the, 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 the people that you see and sending all, all of them motherfuckers is aliens. All of them have the ability to shapeshift to some kind of capacity. They're all aliens. They're all foreign to this planet. All of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? They're foreign to this planet. And then those who, who work for them, you know what I'm saying, are, are, are just, are just you know, feed. They just, they feed on their ass. They keep them around because it's a ritual inside of a ritual. You know what I'm saying? They just keep the humans around because that's just what it is. But all everybody that you see in the motherfucking government uh, uh, is is all they're all aliens. The, the that is the Galactic Federation of Light. Nigga, you talk about the Galactic Federation of Light. That is the Galactic Federation of Light, and all the motherfuckers is dialed in to some capacity. And alien motherfucking fucking Palladian, all of that shit. All of the the Palladians is down with the Galactic Federation of Light. They all the, what you call America, the United States of America. That is the motherfucking Galactic Federation of Light. You know what I'm saying? And um, and they little spaceships, that's just because they had the ability to fly. They little shit, the little the alien ships that you see, motherfucker, that's, that be the government shit. Well, not the government, they the wounded beast that we slam. That be the beast shit that we slam. That's all, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and all of that, the only aliens that they talk about is the Anunnaki. Them the motherfuckers that they scared of. Everybody else, they give you game on them all day long. They don't give a fuck. It come down to them Anunnaki's, them reptilians, or from Draco, you know what I'm saying? Then 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 it's it's something negative when it comes down to the Dracolians. It's some it's something negative when it comes down to the Anunnaki. But they'll tell you about the Greys. And all of that all day long, who ain't nothing but a, a malevolent group too? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, but they get scared when they when they when they get to, when they get to talking about shit, nonconformists, people who ain't getting down with the Galactic Federation of Light. What what makes a Draconian or Gray malevolent? The fact that they don't conform with the Galactic Federation of Light. Fuck the Galactic Federation of Light. Who the fuck made them? You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. They ain't got. See what I'm saying? Fuck them. They not playing they not playing along with that bullshit. That's just all that's all that's about. Yo, they look at you like cattle, yo. They treat motherfuckers like they cattle. Dish your birth certificate. How many motherfucking animals do we got? What's your social security number? Let's take a census on these motherfuckers and see how many how much cattle we have. They look at you like you cattle, yo. The Galactic Federation of Light ain't your friends. These motherfuckers won't show eyes. They want to eat you. But to those who have a high mind, a good mind, they keep you around. You know what I'm saying? You keep you around, really. Your connection to your to your star system, your connection to your animal uh, your um your animal totems, your connection to um your uh your connection to your animal totems, your connection to your star system, your connection to um your uh 
your ancestors, all of that is keeping your ass alive. And your own personal will to stay alive is keeping your ass alive. All that other shit, shit don't matter. Nigga! I say nigga because it's interdimensional. Every time you say it, you know, it's just like this, this nigga serpent is coming out and killing everything around me. I'm not going to conform. You can't put me in a box. Dark Lord strikes again. Another word of power again. A gain. Gaining on some territory. You know what I'm saying? Again. This all the shit that you need to be looking at, yo. We need to be looking at this shit. The word again, a gain, gaining on some territory, territory, a gain, again, again and again and again and again and again, all of this shit, man, you know, they really think the motherfucker, we some slaves down here, Elohim came back, man, and let you know, man, get your mind free, yo. Stop taking life like it's a game and a joke. Stop wanting to come back to this shit. Ain't nothing down here for you, motherfucker. But for you to destroy this shit, that's it. A lot of y'all holding on to this shit. Oh, you talk about uh, government abductions? Well, at like... I told you, at between... Between... Usually they come at like 3 o'clock, yo. They want to come for your ass at 3 o'clock. And we ain't talking about some aliens that come from like heck of super ass far away. We talking about motherfucker, the Galactic Federation of Light. It's the, it's the United States of America. The whole uniform commercial code, that's the Galactic Federation of Light. All the motherfuckers ain't from this planet. They not from this planet. The whole uniform commercial code, all of the motherfuckers is, is aliens. They not from here. You know what I'm saying? They can't do nothing human. That's why they can't refer to you as being a human. They can't they can't refer to you as you being human. They can refer to you as your person. They can say Mr. or Mrs. or ma'am or sir or some fictitious government name. Well, wounded beast name ain't no government. They ain't got the right to be called government. I'm no it's only one government, a spiritual government. Fuck them. All the way. Fuck them. They ain't nothing but some bitch ass motherfuckers that we finna kill. But the thing is. Is that they can refer to a slave name, but they can't refer to a God name. So they got to create a medium so what they can even con converse with you. You know what I'm saying? Because they're aliens. They're not from this planet. These motherfuckers really is not from this planet, yo. And they aliens and they know that they shit, that they not supposed to be down here. And they know that they fucking up and they know that this and that. But do you know? So when you talk about alien abduction, you ain't talking about nothing but motherfucking wounded beast abduction that's the galactic federation of light motherfuckers they hide in the light that's what keeps their ass alive the light i keep telling you the illusions of the light is what keeps their ass alive they hide in the light fuck all that yo i'm out the lot i'm in the dark dark lord dark coat they got zones they come between one and about 3.30 at night. And they come and get motherfuckers. They do testing. They test on this shit. This supposed to be like a lemon pomegranate. I'm finna stop eating this. I'm just eating it because I'm 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 getting used to the senses. My, it, it's a lemon pomegranate. This shit is a test. When you go around and you see that they closing down schools. Or you see like abandoned houses and shit. Motherfucker, it be people in them houses. It be laboratories going on in them schools and, and houses and shit. That's all the Galactic Federation of Light motherfuckers. It appears. You know what I'm saying? Right there in the community. Let's put a motherfucking store right here. Let's put a liquor store right there. 
and some dumbass shit. Let's get these motherfuckers distracted, eating all of the shit that's going on in them stores, stuffing your mind up with shit, building paradigms in your head, and keeping your shit stored away, stuffing your mind up with, with shit. Nah, you can't store my mind up with chips and this and that and this and... Nah, motherfucker, this ain't no chips and dip situation, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then they right there in your hood because they closed down the school. You know what I'm saying? So they right there. The school is now the laboratory, but it's under. You know what I'm saying? It's the Galactic Federation of Light motherfuckers, man. This motherfucker that you, that you voting for and shit, man. Fuck all that shit, man. Fuck this beast. You want to know who Enlil is? Enlil is, a, is, is Barack Obama. That's Enlil. That's who Enlil is. That's who Enlil... I mean, that ain't Enlil. <laughs> that's, the, that's the... Barack Obama is, is the president of the Galactic Federation of Life. That, that is Enlil. That's Enlil. Fuck this shit, yo. What you say, yo? Humans against the aliens? <laughs>